What is up you guys, it's your boy Stevie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's vlog is gonna be kind of different. The day that I'm filming this video, I had a whole other video planned to like kind of film, but last night I was, you know, just kind of like catching up on YouTube and stuff like that. And I stumbled upon Emma Hill. She's kind of like a content creator here on YouTube. And she did this video and it was kind of, I think the title was rearranging or clearing out my closet for spring and summer or something like that. But basically within her video, all she did was she just kind of like rearranged her wardrobe. Mine's is obviously right behind me. And I just cleared out her whole closet to make it a little bit more spring, summer appropriate. And after watching her video, I was just so inspired to kind of do the same thing. I don't know about you guys, but I love Love watching videos like that I think it's super almost like inspiring and it's just so satisfying to watch you know those whole organization type of videos so in today's video slash vlog I'm gonna kind of do the same thing open my closet up and take out everything that I feel like you know I don't really need or yeah, as Marie Kondo says anything that doesn't spark joy I'm gonna kind of just donate or get rid of or whatever refocus my whole entire wardrobe to make it a little bit more spring summer appropriate and then I'm gonna take it one step further and if you guys watch my vlogs and if you don't I'll be sure to like throw it up in the card somewhere it's definitely been a minute since I kind of you know like revamped my room a a little bit. I feel like the last time I kind of gave my room a nice like sprucing up was around the holidays and it's late March as of right now so it's definitely been a minute in my opinion. So not only am I going to refresh my closet slash wardrobe, I want to kind of tackle this rack situation that I have right here. As you guys can see on the rack, all of these coats are very fall winter focused and I want to switch it out and kind of get some more colored pieces going in there and then next thing that I want to focus on is kind of like this desk area that I have. If you watch my vlogs or if you watch my room tour, you would know like this is kind of my current desk situation right now. And I don't want to do too much. I'm not going to change the furniture or anything. I just want to switch around some of the bits that are on top of my rack right here. And then I kind of want to switch out some of the things that are on my desk as well. So that's kind of like the plan of action for today. I honestly don't even know what to call this video or what to title it. But essentially, I'm going to clean out my closet, refresh everything for spring and summer, and then I'm also going to switch in my room a little bit so it's gonna be a super casual vlog I'm gonna take you guys through each thing that I rearrange in my room before we do that as always got to break down the fit just chilling at home today so it's nothing too crazy or anything but I'm recording so you know I had to come through with like the casual flex just a little bit if you guys know me I'm always like in a hat or a beanie so that's interesting but anyways hair is done today the t-shirt on the inside is a heavyweight tee from Everlane the jacket is from a vintage store here in Seattle called Rove the pants are the cold bucks and warm sweatpants and then at the bottom we just have the Balenciaga triple S's. As always everything like mentioned and worn is going to be linked in the description box and anything that I kind of feel like is relevant to this specific video I'll also leave that linked in the description box as well. First things first we're gonna hit the closet so let's get it. quick overview of the current state of my closet. Honestly, it's not too bad or anything. Like, yes, there's definitely some organization going on, but it's not really up to par like how I would personally like it. As you guys can see, my pants are out of color coordination. I don't even know what this situation is right here. I definitely want to hit up the pants first. I'm going to pull all of that down and then kind of see what I'm not liking and then kind of go from there and then I'll tackle this part afterwards. So as you guys can see, we definitely have a nice assortment of some pants going on. Got like some crop trousers, some denim. Personally, don't think I'm going to be wearing all of these during spring and summer. So I'm going to kind of sift through these and then I'm going to kind of get a pile going of the things that I'm going to put away like in storage. And then I'm just only going to keep whatever I think is necessary for spring and summer in my current closet. Are any of you guys like that? Even if I'm not getting rid of it, even if I'm just putting it away, in my brain, I'm always like, no, I shouldn't put that away because I might need it. But it's like, nah fam, you're not gonna need it, you know? So I just finished the stack of pants and it looks like this. So these are all of the pants that I'm going to be keeping. And as you guys see, um, I kind of color coordinated it from darkest all the way to like the lightest option. So I'm gonna put this back up there and then we'll start hitting the clothes after this. When you're hella short, so you have to use a whole ass and chair to kind of put your clothes back up in the closet. Jeez! Now that is more like it. I know for some of you guys, you're probably like, that's not even a difference. But for me, the fact that I actually got rid of some and actually like color coordinated everything, it just makes all the difference to me. So now I'm going to tackle this whole section of my closet. And I've never done this before, but I'm gonna take everything out and kind of just sift through everything to see if it's anything that I don't want anymore or some things that could maybe go to donation. Simultaneously, I'm going to kind of weave these garments back 
into my closet and then I'm gonna kind of pull more spring and summer pieces forward back on this rack right here. So let's get it. closet even more and then I kind of sifted through all the things that was originally in my closet and then I took some stuff off of the rack as well so now I'm gonna kind of start filing things back into my closet and I'm gonna kind of rearrange it in a different way so I'll show you guys that when I'm done with it. Alright you guys, so I think I have it down and as you guys can see I pulled everything forward Usually everything kind of fits back there But obviously I wanted to pull it forward to kind of show you guys I tried to color coordinate it my best in this particular way So I started with the darkest color here, right? And then kind of going all the way to here So from here to here, these are all just, you know, like random tops, um, shirts And then like a few occasional blazers and like some overshirts And then once you split here from here to here is all just like my everyday jackets. So there's like some denim options. We have like just a ton of black simple jackets and blazers. And then this is a suit right here. And then this is just an overshirt in this really nice red colorway. And then there's also this vest that I will be living in for <laughs> spring and summer. And then lastly, we just have a hanger of all of my tote bags and bags. Cause if you guys watch my room tour, you would know that it was originally behind my door, but I didn't like that look. I felt like it looked kind of messy. So I figured why not just kind of like tuck it back into my closet. I took a few heavy coats off of my current rack and kind of placed other spring summer jackets that I will be reaching for as well. So I went ahead and pulled off the heavier coats and I kind of tucked them back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I threw it back like all the way back there because I won't be using them during spring and summer. So yeah, this is kind of like the current situation. So as I said, I'm going to push everything back and then I'm going to show you guys kind of like the finished product with the rack. So let's get it. All right, you guys on some real shit. My window is open and I'm sweating like I don't know if you guys can you guys see this like I'm out here breaking a sweat and this is hard work All right, you guys, so now we're kind of gonna move on to my rack. I like how I initially said that I was gonna add more color to that rack, but now looking at it, it's literally just black and shades of earth tones. I'm really trying, but stay tuned because I have so much like kind of colored pieces coming in. Don't worry, a ton of spring and summer content with like colored pieces coming your way. But for now, we're just gonna kind of work with what we have going on. So all of these pieces were already on the rack, and then I kind of want to just throw in some other pieces that have been my go-tos lately. This black overshirt from legends i've been living in this jacket 100 it's the perfect like overshirt and then i also like this workers jacket right here from everlane the color is so perfect and the fit is nice and has a ton of pockets as well and then this blazer that i found at the thrift i will probably be living in this as well for spring and summer Alright, so this is the finished product of this rack and honestly, this is a really, this is definitely like my go-to color palette right here. I really like how all of these um, garments sit next to each other and like I said, I feel like these are going to be the pieces I will be reaching for for spring and summer. All of the jackets that I was referring to in my closet, those are kind of just also everyday options but they're not pieces that i 100 percent reach for all the time you know this rack right here the one that's next to my mirror hey what's up this rack right here is definitely for the pieces that i gravitate towards the most um, and it's also a rack that i use to visualize like what i want to shoot whether it be like for my website or for my blog or for new like youtube video ideas and stuff i always use this rack to kind of lay out everything that i want to shoot or just some things that I personally always reach for. A lot of you guys ask me where it's from. This rack right here is from Ikea, but you can get it off of Amazon. I'll be sure to leave this linked in the description box below because this rack right here has definitely saved my life and I feel like everyone should have it. Now we're gonna kind of move on to this section of my room. 
So just to kind of give you guys a quick overview of the current state, we just have an, a plant from Ikea, some grooming products from Patrick's, some books underneath this candle, a Polaroid camera, calendar from Target that serves no purpose. I just hang all of my tags from my favorite brands on it. Um, so you can't even see the date. And then we have my go-to like everyday glasses right there. And then kind of breaking down what's on my desk. So we just have this like ceramic cup thing from CB2 and that just houses like all my pens and stuff. This is kind of like DIY thing that I hold my receipts and my chapstick, eye drops and stuff like that. My phone's here. By the way, are you guys feeling the new Kehlani Alarmer EP? I love every song off of that shit. It's super good. Anyways, moving on. And then we just have like my tech bits right here, laptops right there. This pouch ha houses all of my essentials. And then we have my bullet journal right here. I'm not trying to rearrange everything. I'm not trying to like get a new desk or a new chair or whatever. I kind of just feel like the things at the top I don't know, like they just don't look nice. <laughs> so I want to rearrange that and then I kind of want to change up the desk. It's a good desk, 100%, but I feel like the functionality of it could be a little bit better. So I'm going to rearrange things starting at the top first, kind of add some new bits, maybe bring some things down and stuff like that. I feel like the easiest way to do this would be to just kind of like take everything off of the lap, bring it down, and then kind of get like a new vibe going and kind of see how everything lays out and then bring that back up. So that's what we're going to do. So I brought everything down from that lack and then I kind of want to incorporate these I Love Ugly and Bailey Nelson collab eyewear frames up there. So I'm going to kind of see and play around with the layout of this and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I really like how this new layout is kind of set up. It's really similar, but I just kind of moved some things around. So first we just had the plant from Ikea, and then I moved my everyday glasses over here on top of the book with my um, additional journal. I left the grooming products from Patrick's. Not only is it a quality product, but it just looks aesthetically pleasing as well. And then moving down, I got the I Love Ugly and Bailey Nelson eyewear collab. I really like the packaging that they use. I think it's super interesting and it's just really nice to look at. And um, it is a sunglass I'll be reaching for during spring and summer. So I think it just looks nice sitting there. I just moved my Polaroid camera and I know it's blocking the tags of my favorite brands, but I kind of wanted to do that because the fact that the Polaroid camera is blocking the words from my favorite brands is tags. That was kind of like my intention because don't get me wrong, obviously I want you to see my favorite brands, but I feel like when you were looking at this rack, especially from the tags, a lot was going on, but I don't like seeing the numbers of the calendar, so that's why I did that. So I think that the Polaroid camera kind of semi-blocking the words of the brand's tags is a really nice touch, and then if you were interested, you can obviously just move the camera and kind of see what the tags are behind there. So if you go ahead and if you just move this, then you'll see all the tags of the brands that I was talking about, and I rearranged it as well. So I pulled my current favorite brands forward, so so we got like Cole Buxton, Everlane, I Love Ugly, Acne Studios, um, and then there's just like a couple back there. You can just easily just grab this bad boy and then just put it back here. And yeah, I really kind of like this look like when you step back, boom, gang shit, you know what time it is. So this is kind of the current situation on my desk. I just moved the candle right there and then I put my bullet journal behind my pens. I didn't like it there because it was just taking up too much real estate on my desk. I need to be able to kind of work on my desk with all of this stuff. So when I'm working right, essentially like this is out like this, all of these hard drives are like all over the place and this is up. And I just felt like with my bullet journal out there, it was just kind of getting in the way and stuff, especially if I have a coffee here as well. And I'm not trying to have my coffee spill on top of my laptop and stuff like that. I think this is kind of the current move as of right now. So let me know in the comments down below, like, do you guys kind of like that idea of the bullet journal there? Or I don't know. I feel like if anything is lacking in my room, it's my desk. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know. But yeah, you guys, that's kind of like the end of everything. Like I said, it wasn't like anything too crazy or anything. After watching Emma Hills' video, I just had this urge to kind of get my whole life together and just Marie Kondo the fuck out of my life. So if you guys were to see what's behind me, like on my bed, right now there's so much clothes so i'm gonna sift through it and give a ton of them like to my homies and then i'm gonna donate the rest so this is kind of like the finished product of everything that we did today
it for today's vlog slash video. As I mentioned, I know it's kind of like not the biggest transformation, but I don't know. I just feel so much better knowing that everything is sifted through and all of this is going to go to like my homies. And like I said, the donation, I definitely got rid of a lot of stuff. Everything mentioned and worn in today's video will be linked in the description box below. And I'll be sure to leave a link to Emma Hills's video that she created because whether you're a guy or a girl, you have to watch that video because I took so much inspiration from her. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I know it was a little different and it was kind of all over the place, but I don't know. I just feel so relieved that I kind of just like got rid of a ton of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. And then if you aren't already, be sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. I'll throw it up like on the screen right here. It's just my name. If any of you guys have any suggestions as to, you know, like what I should do with my desk, or if you just have any suggestions as to kind of how I can make my room bring summer feels, let me know in the comments down below because I really appreciate like the feedback. But anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.